And joining us to talk more about it is Interactive Brokers founder and chairman Thomas Petterfee. Um, Thomas, welcome. Let's talk through some of what you're seeing right now when it comes to you beat expectations on both the top and the bottom line. You had the number of customer accounts up pretty significantly, but volume was uh, was pretty tricky and pretty volatile. How how would you describe what you saw during the quarter? So stock volumes have been going down for several quarters now, but at the same time, options volume has been rising. So uh, all in all, it's uh, trading volumes have generally trending up about low single digits. What, what, describe, what, what explains what's happening with retail investors? Why do they not want to trade individual stocks, but they do want to do these options? Is that just tied to volatility in the markets? Well, there is there is great confusion in the market whether we are whether we are uh, looking at uh, an AI doing great brave new world, or is it uh, about to be burst magnificent bubble? Uh, people, you know, people are on both sides of, of, of this uh, equation, and uh, uh, so uh, people who have large unrealized gains in the magnificent seven stocks, they are not going to liquidate them, but they are trading options around it. So, uh, you know, especially the zero day options have become extremely popular and they are trading them <laughs> by the barrel, <laughs> so <laughs> to speak. Uh, it, uh, what what's more profitable for you? Do, do do you make more money on an options trade than you do on an individual stock trade? Yeah, yes, uh, brokers make more money on options trade because uh, option commissions start at sixty five cents a contract. We go as low as fifteen cents. Uh, most other brokers are uh, staying around fifty five sixty five cents, depending on volume, of course. But I options. Saw... Oh, go ahead, Thomas. Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Options are definitely more profitable for brokers than stocks, yes. So customer accounts were up 21 percent to 2.43 million. Where did you get those new customers from? Who Were you stealing market share? Are these people who are kind of coming back into the markets? What happened? You no, know, our customers come to us from all over the world. We're basically the only broker that is uh, uh, serving customers um, all over the world in, in 200 countries. And uh, we have a fantastic runway ahead of us because, uh, you know, bro uh, stock trade. I mean, trading generally is is not uh, very well uh, accepted yet in many countries around the world. So there is a huge path to growth for us. Thomas, you have been pretty outspoken in the past about geopolitical events. Um, obviously, you're an entrepreneur. You came over and created a huge company. Um, but you look to what's happening in Ukraine and you look to what's happening in the Middle East right now. And what, what worries you about these situations? I am most worried about China taking advantage of this situation and going into Taiwan. That's, that's my greatest worry. <laughs> World War Three. Yeah. I mean, I think people look at what's happening in the Middle East and, concern, and are concerned that if it expands from uh, the, the, the one front war right now between Israel and Hamas, that, that the, a similar situation kind of jumps out, that if this expands, that's the case, too. So there are two worries, basically, is China and the second is that uh, this Middle East situation becomes a public relations war, more like a, more than a shooting war. And that is going to be a very difficult situation for Israel. Anything that uh, business leaders can do at this point, or or you think this is kind of beyond the business community? Uh, I uh, I myself wouldn't get into it. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Thomas. Uh, I wouldn't get into this. I, it's yeah. it's a very touchy situation. I, yeah, no, I I, I better stay out of it. 